What's up guys? Welcome back to the Poker Vlog. This is episode number 28. And for this episode, I head back to the Rio for day three of the $1,500 World Series of Poker Monster Stack event. Already guaranteed a payout of $5,400 and there's $1.1 million for first place. 234 people came back for day three. I had a great time. I don't make a lot of day threes. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Day three of the Monster Stack today, coming in with 227K in chips. The average is around 430. So I've got uh, 20, 20 big blinds and got some work to do before the big payouts. Don't make a lot of day threes. Don't play that many tournaments. Uh, so I'm just gonna have fun, try to stay relaxed and just make the most of it. Ran about as well as I possibly could have for five levels right after the money the money bubble burst and uh, i feel like i'm free rolling this whole thing <clears throat> just going to kind of hope for the best hey brad good luck today i always want my third favorite vlogger to do well what does that mean what do you mean your third favorite vlogger well aside from Nimi, obviously i also really like jeff Bosky. Walking into the Rio right now for day three. Play is about to start in about 15 minutes. Just going to play pretty tight. Try not to make any big mistakes. Uh, I think no matter what the outcome, I'll be pretty happy considering that I probably had like a 10% chance of making the money to begin with uh, after, you know, after I lost that big flip. So, uh, Yeah, happy no matter what. We head into the Miranda room, spot our table and take a seat. We unbag our chips and look around. The table looks fairly decent. We have the fifth most amount of chips. There are several rec players. Then we see Paul Volp sit down in the eighth seat. He's got over a million chips. Paul Volpe is a tournament crusher, apparently nicknamed the main event. In general, you don't want to be at the same poker table with someone with this nickname. Not a whole lot I can do about it now though. We're in level 21, 234 out of the original 6,716 remain. Blinds are at 6 and 12k with 2k annies. The very first hand, we looked down at pocket queens in early middle position. We've got just under 20 big blinds and we're only a few spots away from a pay jump. To be honest, I'm kind of caught off guard and don't quite know what to do. I open rip it. It folds around and I increase my stack by around 15%. In hindsight, I should have just opened to around 27k, give one of the other players an opportunity to 3-bet me. If someone calls and I have to play queens out of position, it's not the end of the world. It's still not a giant mistake, but I did lose some value with a premium hand. I didn't get any cards to play with for another 40 minutes. I kept folding and was trying to stay patient. That's until I looked down at queen 10 of spades in the small blind. It folds around to me. I've got 173k, just under 15 big blinds. I shove. The big blind folds and we take it down. Wait a minute. For some reason the dealer isn't pushing me the pot. Oh god. It turns out I just called an all-in from the 7 seat without knowing it. The opponent turns over pocket 7s, so at least we're flipping. The dealer puts out the flop. It's 953 rainbow. Good flop if you're rooting for the other guy. The turn is the 6 of diamonds. Please dealer, put a queen or 10 out. Nope. It's the 8 of diamonds, giving my opponent the straight. He has 2,000 more than me and knocks me out. So what the hell happened? How did I not know I was calling it all in? Well first, I'm in the four seat, so it's a little difficult to see what's going on in the six and seven seats. When the cards were dealt, I looked to that end of the table late. The player apparently said he was all in, but you can see from this shot, there's no chip out there. 
He must have said it extremely quietly, plus his hands were covering his cards when I looked in that direction, so I couldn't tell he actually had a hand. I look up and I see Paul Volpe in the 8th seat, kind of staring at him, I wasn't too sure why. Then Paul in the 9th seat threw their cards in quickly. The action was now on my side of the table, and I believe this is when the dealer tossed the all-in button to the 7th seat. It folds to me. I think me and the big blind are the only two players left with cards. I certainly wouldn't have called an all-in with Queen-10 suited. It's definitely my fault for not paying enough attention from the beginning, but I got it in as a flip. I didn't win, unfortunately. It's a big mistake, and now I'll never know what would happen if I just folded and looked for a different spot. I'm out in 196th place. It was a good run. I head to the payout counter to collect $6,202. Just busted the monster stack. I got 196 place. I guess the short stack, the only other short stack at the table shoved in kind of early position from I think the six seat and uh, or seven seat maybe. And I didn't see it. He didn't throw out a chip in the middle. The dealer said he announced it and he did throw the all in chip towards him but it folded around to me. I didn't see any chips in the middle. I wasn't paying enough attention, so I'm mad at myself for that. But uh, I thought that it was just between me and the big blind. So I shoved for about, let's see, a little less than 15 bigs with queen 10 of spades. But uh, <laughs> to my surprise, I found out I was actually calling an all in and uh, so we go heads up. I was in about the best shape I could be in given the circumstances. Queen 10 of spades versus pocket sevens and didn't win. The run good ended with all ins and uh, that was it. I, I was kind of bleeding chips and would have had to shove probably, I probably would have shoved in the next round anyway at some point and to be flipping in that spot is fine. So not that big of a deal but it could have been a giant mistake. Uh, I mean, it was a pretty big mistake, <laughs> as it was. But uh, yeah, ended up getting 196, 6,200 payout. Not too bad, since I came back from one big blind. It's really all I could, uh, all I could ask for. So, good tournament, that was fun. Had a good run of it, but uh, it's over now. That's it for the episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. I know this has been short. I only really played two hands, and I didn't play either of them particularly well. So at the end of this outro, I'm going to include all of the all-in situations that I got into throughout the whole tournament. It's pretty interesting. You can kind of relive the experience that I went through, and you can get the reactions of the other players and my reactions it's pretty interesting so uh it's going to be all raw footage basically um also go to offthefelt.com it's a new poker forum site that my brother and i just started click on the forum section and then click on tournaments and i'm going to put up all of the notes that i have for every hand that i played during the monster sack event we can talk about some of the mistakes i made and we can talk about tournament strategy in general you can see which hands made it to the vlog and which hands didn't. Um, should be pretty, pretty cool. The last thing I wanna say is that I've been playing the main event the last few days and I had a great time. I can't wait to put up the videos for, for that. Uh, it's gonna be pretty reminiscent of day two of the Monster Stack where it's just a giant roller coaster the whole time. It's gonna be, it's gonna be really interesting. So that's pretty much it. Um, stick around for the all-ins if you'd like. Uh, hope you're all doing well and good luck at the tables. Thank you. Mm. Want to take one? <laughs> the the smile. Sure. Okay. Oh. <laughs> good. One, two, three. You want to take a picture of you? Grabbing your chips? Uh, no, it's okay. No? 26, 25. 
Oh, hey, hey. It's even worse than losing, thinking it held. Yeah, it's not good. This is it for me, though. Going hey, man, back. chip and chair. Chip and chair. This will be an uh, epic comeback, that's for sure. It's okay to fold. Well, you can't fold <laughs> things, right? but if it was, you could fold. <laughs> I need to do a limb three raise now. You could fold. No one would be mad. Oh, you got some dead money in there, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Don't, don't, don't do it to me. <laughs> Where was that last? Thanks, man. I don't know what I have. Yeah, we're gonna find out together. Ace, Ace Deuce. That's not, that's not so bad. Thank you. Nice. Straight? Yeah. yeah. Take it. Crazy gang. Kid has alligator blood. What I said. Ten dudes. Wow. Oh. Wow. Like my hand is good enough. Oh, what? You're you're golden, man. You're golden. It's not a great flop for me. Six of clubs. Wow. Holy Christ. Wow. It's a game. God damn it. It's four out of four. Mm -hmm. If you don't win a free flop show, right here. Hard to determine. Don't go anywhere. Payout eighty-two. Yes. Eighty-two one. Yes, sir. Were you in the process of saying six? Okay. Oh, Good luck, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. Well, I didn't even see the... Urban straight. Nice, man. You didn't see me, Joe.